Uh, you know, the big thing is energy. Uh, they just bring a lot of energy to the gym every day they come. Uh, they really enjoy competing with each other, and that's very fun. I said last year this was a refreshing team because they just had a lot of joy when they came out here and competed, um, and that's carried over to this year. And, you know, they're a little bit more mature, obviously. Uh, they put in a lot of time in the off season, and I'm really excited to see what they're capable of doing this year. As a team, where do you see the biggest strides from last year to this year? Because obviously you relied on a lot of sophomores last year. Now they're upperclassmen that have played a lot of basketball. Well, experience, number one, and I, and I think maturity is a big thing. Uh, you know, mental maturity, physical maturity, maturity playing together as a team, the maturity, I think, for us to understand what we need to do uh, as far as a team to be successful, what roles they need to play as individuals to help us ultimately get to that next step this season. Um, so, you know, I think that is probably the big underlying thing, just along with all the individual work they put in to become better players. You know, there's always a, there's always going to be a bit of a bullseye on the back just being Homestead and the success that you guys have had year in and year out. But last year was kind of like with such a young team that it was a nice story. Now there are expectations, especially when you get to, to have the experience they've had. How will these, these young ladies handle that? And uh, what have you seen from their mentality that makes you think they're going to handle those expectations well? Well, they're confident because they put in the work. And, you know, when you have that bullseye on your back, it's because you earned it. Uh, and so you got to make sure that you really relish that. You want the bullseye on your back as opposed to chasing it, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we'll talk about that a lot. And it's, it's a situation where, as a coaching staff, we got to make sure we push our kids to become the best versions of themselves this year um, and for them to develop that mentality to push themselves to be good every day so that um, when it comes Friday night, we can go out there and be competitive. You've got some, uh, some freshmen, some young, good young players to, to work into the mix this season. What's the key over the next couple of weeks so that you guys can hit the ground running when you take on Northridge? I think that's November 13th. You know, the big thing for us is, is really um, putting our team success before the, any individual successes this year. And for our kids to understand that this may be a team that has more depth than we've had at Homestead in many years. Um, we have a lot of kids who are very versatile in what they can bring to the court and what they can bring to the team. And, um, you know, we're going to have a lot of different kids lead us in all kinds of statistical categories this year. Um, and that's great. You know, we need that uh, depth and, and that versatility as a team. And that'll make us harder to guard. And I think it also makes it a little bit better defensively, too. Good deal. Anything else you'd like to add, Coach? No, we're just excited that the season's here and um, we get an opportunity to go out there and compete and work hard together.